been involved in supercomputing since I did it back at graduate school at Cornell, and then when I went back to Norway, I of course continued that. And uh, then I built up this research group there at a, at a main uh, technical university in Norway known as NTNU. And uh, I try to have, let my students have fun by like building up computers like this. This case right here is a little bit goofy. Uh, it's, uh, we found it on the internet, I will admit, and this is sort of a show and tell show, so why not have something flashy? But the actual simulations are done by my students from scratch, so they, I'm, I'm pr quite proud. I mean, we started a couple of years ago with a guy doing smoke simulations on a dual core and took it from there. The next person did a kind of very crude snow simulation model on maybe a quad core. And like I said, you heard Robin just talking about how he's now using CUDA for the same thing. It's based on a project that somebody did at NTNU before. Uh, they did a, slow, a snow simulation on their CPU, dual core. So uh, uh, my, my project here now is to, uh, to do this with CUDA on the GPU to, uh, to see uh, really what, kind of, what can be done on the GPU uh, with CUDA. And uh, as you see, it's just... Uh, Right now, there's two million snowflakes that are uh, they're flying around in a wind field, a vector field, um, colliding with the ground and building up, uh, things like that. Similarly, another student, graduate student of mine, uh, has worked on wavelet transforms for cardiac ultrasound scanners with GE Healthcare. That project, I'm proud to say, was so uh, successful. It was a master's project that you know was completed in like May June, and by the same fall, it actually made it in to the high-end ultrasound medical scanners for heart uh, monitoring from GE Healthcare. So that's you know kind of exciting when you're actually able to do make you know make a real impact statement.